Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Pravin Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, author, currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn how to create a VNet and a subnet within that VNet. Before we start writing bicep code, let's first see how to create a VNet from within the portal. Let's head over to the Azure Management Portal. As you can see here, I'm in create virtual network page where I have to choose a subscription and resource group and provide a network name. So you can start with vnet underscore bicep underscore east US. Something like this. Click next. You can leave the false here. And the most important one here is IP address space. For a given virtual network, we can have one or more IP addresses, spaces. Uh, currently, as you can see, we have one uh, where we can have 65,536 addresses. And it's mandatory to have one subnet by default, as you can see here. And the uh, IP address range of this subnet should fall under the IP address range of the VNet. And once you are okay with these address ranges, you can click on review plus create and finally you can create one. So that is how you can create it from the portal, uh, but I'm not going to click on create here. I'll be doing the same thing in bicep. Let's head over to Visual Studio Code. Here I have created a folder called 48 Azure bicep create VNet and subnet. Within this, I created main.bicep. So here we are going to create our VNet. Let's create a resource. Provide a symbolic name. And then search for virtual network. This is the one related to Microsoft Azure. Provide an API version and select the required properties. So we need to provide a name to the virtual network. So create a parameter. And assign it to the name attribute. Similarly, a location is also required. This location is important. When you create this virtual network in a specific location, all the resources that you want to get into this VNet must also be in the same location. That's important. And once the location is given, then the next thing is uh, properties. Within the properties, we have to specify address space. So here, address space is an object and it takes address prefixes. It takes multiple address prefixes. That's why it is an array. In general, we only give one address prefix, but it's possible to have multiple address prefixes as well. As you can see here, I have given a CADR range for the virtual network. But before creating it, it's mandatory to create a minimum one subnet in a given VNet. So let's now create a subnet inside this VNet. After the address spaces, if we press control space and search for subnets, we will see subnets array because in a given VNet, we can have multiple subnets. Now this array takes objects, basically multiple objects related to subnet. So name, I'll just say subnet one and then we press control space it asks us properties and then this is also an object which takes address prefix now we need to provide the address prefix for this subnet as well and we need to ensure the range is within this network what I can do is I can copy paste it, but ensure that it 
it is within the weight. This is how we can create subnet one. And if you want more subnets, we can also create one more subnet. I can name it as subnet two. And here I can also specify, modify the address prefix to ensure that the IP addresses of these two subnets are not overlapping. I think that's it. Um, now let's now let's run our Azure CLI command to deploy it. Do a CD to the new folder. Let me make some room here. I provided the resource group name here and then name.bicep type. And by the way, I forgot to add a parameter. So let's add a parameter file by right clicking, generate parameter file. I will choose bicep param, all parameters. It generates a param file and it opens the param file as well. So vnet underscore bicep underscore dev is to us. Something like this. And location. We don't want location here. We will specify the location from resource group dot location because this cannot be done in bicep param, but you must get the location of the resource group using resource group function. So this can be done only in main dot bicep files or any other files, any other bicep files, but not from bicep param. Save it. Everything looks good to me. Now go to terminal and here we can specify hyphen p main dot bicep. That's it. Let me hit enter. It takes some time. I'll come back once it is complete. Yeah, the command got successfully executed. Now let's head over to Azure portal and refresh. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, VNet is created. And you should see two subnets within this. Now one one thing that can be improvised here in our code is the way we created subnets. So in this case, we have two subnets wherein we hard coded the name of the subnet. Tomorrow, if we want to add more subnets, we need to copy paste these lines of code and it doesn't look good. We need to refactor this code so that it looks clean. In our upcoming video, we'll learn how to write clean code by using some design patterns. That's it on this video. If you have any comments, fee please feel free to provide your feedback in the comment section. I will see you in next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time.